This is our fete this year. It's our 23rd um, Grand British fete that we've held on this field. And I think it's the sunniest day ever. I think actually the first one actually in 1989 was pretty good. Um, we've had a pretty rough time the last two or three years. It's rained. Anyway, to this, today we've had, well, we've got Zumba on at the moment. And we have had lo loads of competitions. We've had Jam Donut Eating Competition, which is an absolute favourite. We have no problem getting contestants for that. They have to th stand there for a minute without licking their lips. Um, we've got an absolute fantastic queue for the ice cream and the hot dogs. I think they're going to sell out in no time. Uh, what, you sold out? Yeah. Yes, yes. sold out. Sold out. How many burgers is it? A couple of hundred burgers. Well, a couple of hundred sausages. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's been very busy. <laughs> you sold out of cakes yet? Not quite yet. Not quite yet. A few more to go. <laughs> It's been very, very busy. So this is Thrap School running the bar, Thrap Nursery running the um, tea tent as well. So and it's been extremely busy because it rained last year. And I see you've got all local beers there. Are all they all? Stroke Brewery, yes. Right. Five different beers and Pims. We're selling Pims, Pims. and cordials and cold and soft drinks as well. Which has been going most? Which has been selling? Um, Buddings <laughs> and Pims. Actually, mostly Pims. Great. Lots. Sunny day, Pims. Uh, we're raising money for Brimson School, Thrup School, Thrup Nursery, Brimson Thrup Football Club, Brimson Thrup. Uh, Brimson Thrup. So I can't get my teeth. How many Pims Brimson, was that? Yeah. Yeah, quite, yeah, I've lost count. Yeah. Uh, Brimson and Thrup Social Centre and Rock Cafe, which is a Christian youth group. It's a really good example of a local community event. You know, it's put on by local people. A lot of local people come. It's a once a year highlight for many of the kids. I know when my kids were that age, they wouldn't miss it for anything. So it's really great. Um, Express so lovely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Brilliant. How's the trade been today? Yeah, Is it, are you good? Yes. <laughs> um, and we've got English Civil War Society. They've been banging a lot with their <laughs> with their cannons and muskets, and it's frightened a few children and dogs. But there you are. The smaller, weaker men were given muskets, guns, which were much easier to learn to use. Yeah, we're doing a drill display next. Yeah, which is basically we're demonstrating the free arms of the uh, the army, the cannon, the musket, and the pike, and then it. After that, we'll be doing a, a small skirmish. Brilliant. Okay. And how long have you been doing this for? <laughs> oh, um, that'll now be 24 years. Wow. <laughs> Basically, to give the public a taste of what a battlefield would actually be like, with the uh, the sound and the smell, the actual powder going off, and how frightening it is when you've got sort of like 20 armed old people sort of like rushing onto you. I'm uh, running the raffle 
Apple Store currently, so uh, we are raising money for the charities. And uh, if you want to buy a raffle ticket, then you need to come here, and also we're later doing a silent auction. Brilliant. And are the raffle tickets selling well? We are selling very well. Yeah, it's a long journey home, I don't They will go around selling. Uh, most chapmen would be actually walking and they'd have a, a big sack with all their wares on it. So it'd all be light, small stuff because how heavy it was. You'd be a fit young person to do it. Graphite pencils. Now, we don't know about graphite or called graphite until about 1780. Nine, somewhere around there. Lovely. See, it's so much darker. So I decided to call this stuff black lead. Ordinary graphite is it's like a lubricant, but it is such a very, very fine powder, and it made smoother cannonballs, oh, okay. which allowed them to actually go further. Yes. Which actually the English uh, armies and navies yeah. made the use of. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's uh, 1927 uh, Phantom One. Well, we we take it out when it's nice weather. Um, we don't uh, take it out if it's raining. Um, so what's this one then? This is AJS 1964, Works International 6 day machine. There's only three of them built. It was 978, 979, and 980. That's the registration number. This is 978. And there's only 979, 979, 978 left. It's a 1955 Gold Star in Clubman's, and I've had it for about nine years. Amazing papers put on every year, lots of hard work done by Liz Peters, and as you can Whoops. see, it's well supported by the community. Tea tea. Do you want to add anything? Fantastic day. What have you uh, been judging? I'm such a best baby, beautiful baby. We had to give them practically the same prizes because you can't really judge which is more beautiful baby than the other. We did um, tearing up the Argos catalogue, some man won it really, really quickly as well. And they had to pick up all the bits, it's environmentally friendly, had to pick up all the bits and put them back in the black bag. Very pleased to hear that. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing, no rubbish left around. At all for right. the so it's Great. been a brilliant, brilliant day, fantastic weather, and well done to Liz. Brilliant.